plays Grand Theft Auto IRL. The disturbing crimes of Ryan Stone. Any nigga's last name is Stone is a demon. That's a cool ass last name. About videos that show wild police chases or dramatic arrest footage as being examples of oh my the God. real world. Scenes that are so bizarre that they appear straight out of the Bet you live in Florida. Where you have Bet you this nigga live in Florida. Carry no real consequences. The comparison is often made jokingly. They, exactly, Matt Stoney. That nigga demon. Like I haven't watched Mario Matt Stoney in a minute. Chase playing out on live television. Ryan Stone. Convicted for chase across the metro area. Oh my gosh, multiple people. He just real live robbed her like his fucking GTA. Bitch, you're dumb. Like, come, like, no matter where I go, when I'm driving, my doors is locked, dog. Like, my doors is locked, bro. Real life threw her on the floor. That Brenda song. He's and he's proud. In March of 2014, a he's OD proud. A crime spree around the Denver, Colorado area. Colorado. Okay. To carjackings to hitting a state trooper at 96 miles an hour. This dude did it all and seemed untouchable while in the commission of his crime. 90 minutes. Look at that nigga face. He got green fucking eyes. Holy shit. Me, would go on to brag about how rich uh -huh. he is being He's happy. Did Grand Theft Auto in real life would make him. Hey, did you know I made the news in the UK and Australia? What is wrong with this? This is how you know, bro. This is what happens when you, when you don't get attention as a kid. When you don't get attention as a kid, you look for attention in crazy fucking ways like this nigga. Holy shit. GTA IRL. The destructive deeds of a criminal named Ryan Stone. That's the face of a nigga that don't give a fuck. Before we get started, I want to give a big fuck your sponsor, bro. Come sponsor me, but fuck. On YouTube, you'll find many videos which feature the same car chase with titles along the lines of "Guy thinks he's in Grand Theft Auto" or "Grand Theft Auto in real life." The chase has become the stuff of legend in the online it's world and is one of the most no free clout chases of all time. And with that said, before doing a play-by-play -play of the car chase itself. I'd like to introduce you to the man behind it. Okay. Y'all niggas kind of look alike. Hard body. He was 28 years old at the time. 28. Of car chase and had he was young. Going back over a decade. Ryan had been in and out of jail and on and off of probation. For I never wonder what it's like to be in jail or prison. Isn't prison worse than jail? I feel like if I knew I was going to die soon, I'd probably go to jail. Like if I knew I was gonna die in like a week, on like the fifth out of seventh day, I try to go to jail. <sighs> but I okay after I say my goodbyes to everybody, I just want to experience it. Like if I know I'm about to die. Most of his adult life, some reports claim that since turning eighteen in two thousand and three, Ryan Stone had two thousand three every year. The <laughs> the the thought process of being 18 and 20 in 2003 does something to me because like fuck you're old how are you 18 in 2003 i was three With the exception of 2010 and 2013 a brief look at some of the charges attributed to ryan stone on the prison court. puts you in units depending on the crime but i'm not sure and he put me with the murders Colorado court and he put me with the real side. killers Helps illustrate the sort of individual they know they have to bro I think they have to I think like all like the pedos have to stay together bro because like if you go to jail for anything related to a kid yeah good fucking good luck to you buddy like if you go to jail for anything relating to like a kid maybe woman Especially like your mom or like my like, especially a kid, bro. They don't fuck with that shit, dog. They don't fuck around, put Kool Aid, Kool Aid powder on their dick and be like, lick this shit off or I kill you, bitch. Possession of controlled substances, criminal mischief resulting in damages of five hundred to fifteen thousand dollars, driving without a license, driving without vehicle registration, okay, while under the influence, okay, motor vehicle theft, okay, menacing. Felon in possession. What is menacing? The 
fuck is menacing? Menacing occurs, occurs, <laughs> occurs when an individual, damn, when an individual knowingly places pers another person in fear by any means of threat or physical action. So to threaten somebody, is, if being a menace is a crime, I should be in jail, nigga, what the fuck? Possession of a weapon, assault of a custody officer. And that's just a small sampling. The man's got a lengthy record. Which brings us to the most oh my God. The infamous GTA oh my style God. in 2014. Oh my God. What exactly was Mr. Ryan Stone up to around this time? Well, in October of 2013, Ryan okay. was released from prison after serving four years for a drug conviction. And wow. Back into trouble. In February of 2014, Ryan already had a warrant out for his arrest after allegedly being in possession of methamphetamine. It's been reported meth? that he was addicted to meth at the time and meth, the dog and watching his house under suspicion that he was dealing drugs. Just months after getting That's out of some prison, real white Ryan boy shit. Man and allegedly hooked Would y'all do PCP? Essentially a walking powder keg. And that powder keg would blow on March 12th of 2014. As on this day, Ryan would put all of his previous criminal He doesn't even shame, look like he cares. He described as a psychopathic rampage across Denver. Now I want to know what was his thought process before he did it. The genesis of this infamous car chase all Denver about 40 miles north of Denver in Longmont, Colorado. Ooh, it looks Wednesday cold as fuck. The cold commute to work. It and looks cold as shit. Martha Rodriguez pulls her red Ford Edge SUV okay. in the parking lot of a Bradley's pushing that shit located on 17th and Main Street. Planning to make a quick in and out trip to the store for coffee, Martha leaves her car running and heads inside. But little does she know she's being watched. Inside of the Bradley's convenience store was none other than Ryan Stone. Stone had been hanging out inside of the store sipping on coffee as he noticed the unattended SUV idling away in the parking lot. His mm. criminal urges take over and as mm. Rodriguez Nigga said his criminal fucking urges. The nigga's addicted to being a menace. Holy store, fuck. It's literally in his blood. Unattended SUV. The door, unlocked, pops right open for Ryan. He hops right on in, and for the next hour and a half, the Denver area was in for a show. Now in possession of a stolen vehicle, Ryan Here, whips free car. the edge out of Bradley's. He got his free car. Car, But he quickly finds the roar of the engine being drowned out by a sound coming from the back seat. That sound was the crying of Martha Rodriguez's four-year-old son, Alan Rodriguez. In the process of making away with the vehicle, Ryan had inadvertently kidnapped the little boy. Despite their I know that shit made him happy. Car, he didn't Ryan give a fuck. He's OD. What the Meanwhile, Martha Rodriguez fuck? realizing what had happened makes a panic oh nine my one God, call. Oh my God, bro. Always lock your car, bro. And not long after, like dead ass, bro. Always log your lock your fucking car, bro. Beginning a high speed pursuit. Police from all surrounding areas begin joining the chase and helicopters provide the first visuals of what would prove to be an unbelievable display of criminality. I've always wanted to ride a helicopter. I wonder how different is it from a plane? Holy shit. There's a little kid in this car, bro. Responsible for a carjacking and a kidnapping, Ryan Stone decides to commit his next crime. After merging into I-76 in Denver, Ryan maneuvers aggressively in front of this gold van. He then hops out of the SUV, thankfully leaving four-year-old Alan behind, but then Thank promptly God. goes to the van. Imagine if it was another kid in that car. This person. It's a oh my God, this is real life from GTA shit. Throws that person out and the other person runs out. <laughs> they mind boggling crimes. What Ryan the then fuck? heads southbound on the E470 toll road, and that's when state trooper Bellaman He enters the path of this deranged man. Okay, he. he was setting up a spike strip in the hopes of disabling Stone's stolen van. Only for Ryan to dodge the strip and Ooh. strike trooper He, causing serious injury to his legs and feet, critically injuring him in the process. On who he hit him. Yeah, a real deal GTA. And he's driving in oncoming traffic. Oh, he's a demon. After striking Officer Key and some failed carjacking attempts, Ryan was desperate to get a new set of wheels. 
that's when he targets the silver Toyota sedan driven by Zune Wharton. Ryan ran How the fuck you get a picture of her? into Mrs. Wharton's car. Wharton, thinking that she's dealing with a routine car accident, pulls over, likely expecting to exchange insurance with the guy. And as you can see here, Ryan, the hardened criminal that he is, has the disturbing presence of mind to gesture like he's mad about the van being damaged. As to uh -huh. the idea Smart ass, ass nigga. Normal car accident oh not my god. She lets him get too close, falls for it, and gets thrown Dumb out of the ass. car. Dumbass. I don't know why you even thought he would open your door. But not for long. Nah, and that's crazy. Imagine after, somebody stealing your shit right in front of you. To run a red light at a busy intersection. This is where his luck runs out, as when he's speeding through the intersection, he teams the 2008 Camry. Leaving his vehicle incapacitated. Oh man. Box him in, and Ryan, left with no other options, runs huh. from them. Tried to foot. take that car. He doesn't make it far. After running behind a nearby business, and it's snow, bro. You need another whip. Tall fence blocking his path. You need another they whip. Clear it. Ryan Dumbass. After nearly 90 minutes of bro, you're a bitch, activity, bro. You need, bro. Surrenders and is taken into police custody. Nigga should have called Lester. Police That's when you fumbled Ryan to put in that cheat code to lower your stars. Toxicology reports indicate that Ryan had methamphetamine, marijuana, and lorazepam in his Lorazepam? I ain't heard about that shit in years. And awaited charges. Damage report. What do you do? Four-year-old Alan Rodriguez Thank God. was unharmed during the chase. What the fuck? The drivers and passengers of the two additional carjacked vehicles suffered only minor injuries. Miraculously, Stacy Rader, the driver of the vehicle that was T-boned by Ryan near the end of the chase, was uninjured by the violent. Thank collision. God, nobody was he injured. Lucky. He was seriously injured. He died. When Ryan hit him and had to undergo multiple emergency surgeries. Thankfully, in time, the trooper made a full recovery. Thank and God. His position. That's it not. It's truly miraculous that that's nobody nice. died during this police chase. But many were traumatized, and a mountain of damages were created. The community wanted Ryan to pay. Meanwhile, in the days following the arrest of Ryan Stone, footage from the police chase began going viral on the internet. Ryan's systematic series of carjackings was quite the sight to behold. People had seen police chases before, but for a guy to go from car to car the way he did, it was truly a uniquely sociopathic display. It just seemed so improbable, almost like something you would see in a TV show or a movie or, I don't know, maybe a video game like Grand Theft Auto. And that's when you started to see people online sort of praise Ryan as this twisted, heroic figure. The guy that did the impossible and did well, my teeth hurt in real life. And the Let me see my dentist soon. Get to Ryan's head. Hey, did you know I made the news? Yeah, he's a he fucking dickhead. Like, you why are you so Ryan excited? You're fucking stupid. Event, you I wrong. mean, you already fucked up. Like, live in your fucking call, truth, Ryan bro. I guess. Speak to a friend where he seems to revel in the idea that folks were praising him as being the guy that did Grand Theft Auto in real life. He's a dickhead, bro. Like, and how it might make him a rich man. One day. Why would that make you rich, fucking dumbass? Please, how would you monetize that? Chasing me. Where, where did the logic come in chasing me? Past a certain point. You know what I mean? Like, you are endangering not only lives just in you guys chasing me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. where is the logic? If you type in Grand Theft Auto on YouTube, my shit comes It really blows me how excited he is. Like, why are you so happy? Nah, they, this is this is some real clout chasing shit. You think you're gonna get that money? Why would you? You're not getting that money, dog. Y'all think he won that the suit? The man is facing a mountain of charges, traumatized numerous individuals, kidnapped a four-year-old, and he a demon for real. Officer, and all that's on his mind is getting, getting out paid. Like copyright striking or copyright claiming videos that show his car chase. That's definition of priorities, priorities being here. fucked up. Priority number one for state prosecutors was locking Ryan up for as long as possible. 
and he was hit with a plethora of charges related 26 to March charges year, 26 charges in total in 2014 in court, initially tried to argue that his crimes were fueled by a methamphetamine induced state of psychosis essentially suggesting that meth had created a delusional state within ryan and he didn't have control of himself when committing these crimes However, the preceding judge struck the defense's motion and forbade Ryan and his attorney from using drug intoxication as a defense. There Fuck wasn't no. going to be an easy way out of this. Fuck no, the boy. Call in which Ryan <laughs> no free game. Was used extensively no free game. It was they tried to pull up when, when you fucking, when you do some wild shit, like kill somebody, and then you try to claim, what's it called? Um, mental illness, so you get put in a psych ward. Like, no, nigga, we know it's not the drugs, nigga. That's just who you are. It's really difficult for the defense to argue that Ryan was remorseful for what he did when you had this thing floating around. If you type in Grand Theft Auto, he's a dumbass. After a long and emotional Holy trial shit. in 2015, Ryan was eventually found guilty and convicted of committing 11 felonies. Oh, felonies out of the 26. Follows. One count of attempted manslaughter. Ooh, that's one bad. Count of first degree assault. That's one bad. One count of leaving the scene of an accident involving serious bodily injury. That's two bad. Two counts of robbery. Mm. One count of vehicular eluding. Three mm. counts of motor vehicle theft. Ooh. One count of criminal mischief. Ooh. And one count of vehicular assault. Ryan also had How much he get? How much y'all think he got? From the I want to say at least like, then they got like 15 now years. It was to be expected that Ryan was going to get a good deal of prison time for his carjacking rampage. But he didn't. you expected the degree that this judge was going to bury Ryan? Ryan during his sentencing. The maximum sentence for carjacking in the state of Colorado is 12 years. Ooh. But the court was dealing with a hardened criminal with an expansive record. Ryan was Ooh. a repeat offender and habitual criminal with a long rap sheet spanning decades. The okay. recent carjacking is just another example of his antisocial tendencies. Taking Ryan's criminal history and apparent lack of remorse in consideration, on October 30th of 2018, the judge would sentence 30-year-old Ryan Stone to serve a hundred. What the years fuck? Later. He would have a chance for parole. Nah, years I was serve. way the off. Braggadocious car thief could be seen One, I, I thought I was gonna get 15, dumb bitch. Nigga like, like Justin Timberlake. You're like he'll be on Nickelback. <laughs> You're a fucking dumbass. You deserve that shit. Yeah, it's the B. He said no. Long run place to go. Oh, I'm gonna home. Hey, live your truth, my boy. On YouTube, the Grand Theft Auto in real life car chase is viewed by thousands of people every year. But I really thought he was going to get a bag. Most people don't know the real story and ascribe some romanticized backstory to it. A lot of folks who stumble across this video think that he was just an unstable guy, like obsessed with Grand Theft Auto and wanted to perpetrate it in the real world. Or perhaps they think the perpetrator was someone akin to an individual like Richard Russell, a.k.a. the Sky King. The depressed airport employee. Oh, this nigga. He, he died. But Ryan Stone is Rest in no peace. Richard Russell. Ryan was essentially. It was just crazy. That other nigga was depressed. He was just a demon. No clear motivation to commit this crime. But considering that toxicology report, it's in my opinion that fueling that alleged meth addiction could have been a contributing factor here. There was nothing honorable or praiseworthy regarding what he did. Creating a dramatic police chase may be a compelling watch for those They ran to use a bitch. But it was a nightmare for everyone involved when it happened. March 12th of 2014, a day in Denver that will be remembered in perpetuity as the day their city became Grand Theft Auto in real life. But Ooh. that, my friends, was the story of Ryan Stone's rampage across Denver. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below in the comments section. And let me know who. Or what you want me to talk about next? Slap like on the video. Love all of you. Uh, Bye. Bye. Fuck your Patreons.